Hi, Ken and Hansa here for the Reproducible Results channel. Today I will show you how to import life tables from the Human Mortality Database into Microsoft Excel. First you need to use your web browser to navigate to this page. It's www.mortality.org. If you have not done so already, you will need to register. This is done over here in this column. I strongly recommend that you go ahead and do this. On this opening page, there's information about the HMD, and there's several countries that you could choose from, 37 countries actually. Today we're going to be doing United States live tables, so I will select USA. This brings up the USA page with a number of hyperlinks. All these underlined entries are hyperlinks. And today we will focus, I said, on live tables. And the, um, this page has live tables from, that cover from 1933 to 2010. And they're arranged by females, males, and total, or both sexes. And I'm going to choose one by one. That's one year age intervals by one year calendar intervals. And to start with, I'll start with females. Right click open link and new tab and there we have it this is the life table for females click anywhere in the page control a to select the entire page control c to copy it and i'll take that copy over to excel i'll paste it with a control v right into excel looks pretty good but there is a problem all the table header excuse me the call headers are in this cell here a3 all the data points are within this cell, A4. This is not right, so we'll have to take care of that. Then down arrow to select the entire column. Then I go over to data and choose text to columns, which brings up this three-step wizard. On the first step, I choose the delimiting type. It's delimited. Um, go to next. I'm going to unclick tab and instead use space because that's how these are delimited and I verify that treat consecutive delimiters as one is checked. Next page. By default the first column is selected which is good because I'm going to get rid of that column by choosing do not import column. That's because there's nothing in there. And now we're ready to go. Finish and that's done. That looks a lot better. As you can see the data points are where they're supposed to be, the column headers are where they're supposed to be, and everything looks good. Now it's just a matter of formatting. I'm going to choose the first two columns, and I'm going to make them centered. Unfortunately, that's centered this one here, so I'll take that back and go back to left justified with that one. Now I'm going to select all the column headers, make them bold, give them a border underneath, and center them as well, and that looks pretty good. For my MXs and QXs, I would prefer for them to be formatted to have five decimal places instead of sort of a mix here. So I select both of them, go to six, and then back to five decimal places, and they're all evenly formatted. For AX, which is a factor, I'm going to choose the entire column and format it to two decimal places. Now here I do a little trick. I'm going to go Control C to copy that column and move over here and I'm going to do a paste special wherein I paste just the formats. And now that column is formatted uh, correctly as well. Lastly, I'm going to choose all these large numbers, select the entire columns, and I'm going to format them with commas which makes them easier to read. And no decimal places and we're ready to go. Here I will rename this tab, Females, and save this out as US 1933-2010, and there I have the start of a cookbook. At this point, I'll go back into HMD and I'll choose Males, right tab, new, new tab rather. 
males, control C, excuse me, control A, control C, bring it over to Excel, new sheet, paste, same functions as before. I'm going to have to change this to using text to columns, delimited, space, and do not import, and that looks good. Now here I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go back to my females. I'm going to select the entire spreadsheet and say copy. And then, just like before, I'm going to paste, but this time I'm pasting everything with formats. And that whole page is ready to go. It saves a lot of steps there. Rename. Males. Save it. And now I'm ready to go on with the both sexes. Back to HMD. Right click both sexes. New tab. Control A. Control C. And move this into Excel. I still have to do the text to data by hand, text to columns, delimited, that looks good, do not import, finish, one last copy and paste, paste special, formats, and that's done. I'm going to rename it both. And I'll go through the tabs to make sure they look good. I'm going to hit Control Home to bring the cursor up to the upper left hand corner. And do one last save. Okay, at this point, I'm pretty much done, but there's one more important step to do. First, I quit Excel, and don't need my web page anymore. I can quit my browser as well. And I go in with uh, File Manager and choose Properties for that file I just created. And I'm going to change it to Read Only. This is essential to getting reproducible results. At no time am I going to change any of the contents of that file. I'm going to use it as a data source and I will have a audit trail of every change I use with the data, every data cleaning or other operation, but the original that I got from H HMD I will never change. Having it read only discourages me from making such changes. Thank you for your attention. I hope you have found this helpful.